please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everyone. It's Monday, October 5th. Do you have any questions or business with this council tonight? Come up, give us your name and address, and state your question, business, and such. Call the roll, please. Cedar? Here. Foley? Here. Genspotter? Here. Kleeman? Here. Kaffa? Here. Laporte? Here. McCartney? Here. All present, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Number four is a consent agenda City Council Minutes of September 21st, 2015, regular meeting. The recommendation is approved. So moved. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nothing under number five. Number six. Any city departments tonight? Anything? These councils, boards, commissions. Nothing under number seven. Let's go to number eight. Number eight. Renew East China School District Facility Use Mutual Operating Agreement. Please. Thank you. We are requesting the renewal of the East China School District Facility Usage Mutual Agreement. This is an agreement we have with the schools for um, recreation programs that are held at school facilities. There are no changes to the agreement. It is a renewal. The only things that, that have changed are the dates, and it's the um, this year's school calendar year from September 1st through August 31st, 2016. Um, we will we make the half payment at this time if it is approved um, we will be reviewing our facility usage after the first of the year depending on the status of the education center building because we do have programs that we offer there um, so if that building is no longer available that would change the hours or the amount that we use the building and that would be reviewed at that time Teresa said here this is the same fee as last year. I thought I remembered it being a little lower. No, there was an adjustment last year because the um, school, um, high school pool was down because of maintenance, but the original agreement was 3,150. They did adjust it because the pool was down for almost seven to eight weeks oh, okay. um, because of maintenance problems. I'll make a motion to approve. I would, I would second that. Right. The motion remains supports. Any questions? Call the roll, please. Laporte? Yes. McCartney? Yes. Foley? Yes. Kinsvater? Yes. Kleeman? Yes. Kuffa? Yes. Cedar? Yes. Carrie Jones? All right, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I guess you're going to stay right there. All right, we'll go to B. Approved master plan pro process for Hillside Cemetery Culture Park. I believe the city clerk. <laughs> Did you have a administration of memo so um, I'm here representing the Recreation Commission no, I did not attach a memo um, the purpose of this agenda item is to approve or deny moving forward with the proposal for a master plan for Hillside Cemetery and Clutchett Park included in your packet is a copy of the proposal and um, a copy of a memo that was sent in 2013 of of the same topic and the minutes that tabled the discussion because it was mentioned at our last meeting so I just provided that as further documentation I um, understand that you had other bids six thousand dollars seems a little high and then each additional meeting is six hundred dollars did you contact other at like AEW or Kyla Wartman Carlisle Wartman um, submitted a bid and their bid actually was um, Twice as much. It was thirteen hundred for the 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 um, master plan. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. Excuse me. <laughs> and AEW did they? We did not request a bid from AEW. Or any we, other. We were kind of just talking before the meeting, you know, and um, I, I guess you know being down at the Little League Park for years, like you you were down there mm -hmm. as well, and. Um, you know, dealing with with the cemetery board and um, being on city rec like like I was. I mean, we've we, we've talked for years about getting getting together, get get you know get get both groups together, and just try to figure out what it is that that, that we want to do going going forward. And and I you know uh, uh, Annette you know 
told me that a few of them came came to the uh, to a rec meeting and mm -hmm. I mean but it, I mean has there really been discussion on, on you know what what do we need to do I mean what do we need to do to fix the roads that a car can't drive through I mean wouldn't the simple answer be to widen it and get rid of the curbs and and do a little bit of uh, excavating if you will and then if, if you know as you and I talked for years about knocking down the one building knocking down the fence sure. I mean you know we've got play playground equipment down there I mean it's a neighborhood park I mean do you really think we need an outsider to come in to, to count grave sites and and to give recommendations before you guys truly went and kind of tried to figure it out I mean well I, d I think it's it's coming the request is coming more from the cemetery Commission because the rec commission as far as future development of Kletcher Park we're kind of um, at a standstill right. if, if the cemetery is going to expand then we're not going to put any new improvements we're going to maintain it but it would help as a rec commission determine future plans for Kletcher Park and if we were going to have enough room to redesign the park but I I think the cemetery needs um, to find out if they're utilizing their space mm -hmm. and determine what type of expansion they would need. And I, I do think we need some insight from an engineer or a planner to tell us that information. I can, add, I can address the, 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 the little roads, the lanes that are on the, north, the older section. Mm -hmm. There would be a massive um, relocation of the existing graves to widen those roads so today's hearse could get up into the northern section where you referenced by the cook mm -hmm. field yeah um, and all those lanes are very narrow um, most of the available lots are unusable because of roads water mains and things like that the other thing I I, I don't know that I've ever gotten an answer um, I think we have but I, I believe that that property that is on the corner does belong to a cemetery and it was deeded or a, the, the use was allowed for Cletcher Park to be down there or the Lily Park to be down there. Mm -hmm. and then my other understanding was, and I wish that our attorney was here, um, that once Cletcher Park moved, vacated that, once the Lily vacated that, the grounds reverted back to the cemetery. So REC really doesn't have a say-so in what goes on down there unless council so pleases to decide that that's going to be a park that's my understanding and I'm open for correction because I'm just picking up bits and pieces sure. of conversation that I've gotten since I'm on both committees sure. representing council so that's how I understand it um, when I was involved in the last meeting with cemetery and with with rec is that <clears throat> if you if anyone's familiar with the circle around I think a section three the middle section I can't remember the sections but when you try to make a left to go north in that lane you you can barely get a today my pickup truck cannot make that turn to get up in that without getting damaging the cemetery the guys that cut the grass can't drive their vehicles with their trailers up there they have to go and access through St. Clair Highway to get up into that northern section so that would be a major reconstruction on the, on the older part of the cemetery doesn't that doesn't that driveway have cinder blocks this this yes wide it does on both sides yes it does and it's but this graves are buried right up to them. right up to them and if you even look at the section behind the the um, um, the chapel the next section mm -hmm. of the chapel there are graves that are right up to the street yeah that are plotted right up to the road so if you're gonna widen streets in the cemetery I, I can tell you that you're gonna you're gonna be relocating graves to the ex probably to either the city expense or the expense of the family so mm -hmm. that's that is the problem that I understand today the current the current usage of the lots that are left there's no family plots I think there's singles and doubles in some areas out of the 500 and some I think that are available I can't remember how many are not usable I don't remember approximately yeah 500 yeah, and that's so. the question are they usable right. can they so. be used can they be sold by and the cemetery I know that what the cemetery board is asking is is that this either gets approved to move forward or denied and left alone so they can decide how they want to proceed so you know um, I'm not sure that we should even discuss this without a motion on the floor I, I mean I figured that it was up for approval and you know if we're gonna discuss it is there you know what are we discussing 
you know, is, is normally is there a motion to either? We have no motion at this okay. time. No, I know, and we're discussing a. But anyway, it's being submitted for your consideration. That's that's, I guess that's what they're looking for. So, my so. only comment, other comment, would be is we have a master plan for recreation and open space. Mm -hmm. We have a comp city comprehensive plan. So I, I think it would be a good idea to have a cemetery master plan. It would determine capital improvements. It would make us more eligible for grants, um, grants if there are grants out there for cemetery. And it would give the, both these commissions direction as to what to do. Um, we did talk that the cost of the master plan would be sp split 80 um, would come out of the cemetery budget and 20 would come out of 20 percent would come out of the recreation um, so there are monies within the budget for this plan and unfortunately I don't think there's anyone here from the cemetery commission um, this is something that they feel as a resident commission this is what they're recommending so that they can move forward is the scope of the work going to address the egress and that the roads coming in? And, I mean, you can't do anything about the ones that are there, but is there some sort of main entrance? That and I just want to make sure that I go on record by stating that I've made it very clear to both recreation as a council rep and the cemetery board as a council rep that I want to see a park stay in the south end of St. Clair in some fashion. Well, I think that, that was we, our intention. That, and I think that we mentioned that as council. Yeah that I'm not advocating that the cemetery take that entire parcel. I think that in order to move forward with both parties, they need direction. REC can't develop a plan for either the major league field or the, the, <coughs> the, the um, minor league field unless we give them direction as what, where the cemetery is going to go and how this thing all comes together. And that's the conundrum that we're sitting in today. And I don't, I don't really disagree with with anything. And I mean, I'm all for the master plan. I guess I just don't know why you have to pay somebody to tell you the obvious things. Couldn't we just set up a meeting between those commissions and council and just sit down and, and just brainstorm it and talk, see which way, direction everybody would like to go, and and before we sit here and pay somebody to tell us how we're supposed to do it. Are you suggesting to take it to a work session? And yeah. Then? Yeah. If we have a work session, we don't feel like we're. You know, we're getting anywhere with it. Then we come back and exactly. say to these guys, I mean, okay. I, I mean, that's my suggestion. But Well, we have trees here. We have Mr. McCartney's on both commissions. Can you guys send that out to the group and see if they're congenial to the idea? I think we have done that at, at some level. I mean, I've, I've met with the chairperson for the city or for the cemetery and all along with um, our city clerk. And I just don't think we have all the answers for future development of the cemetery, but we certainly could do another well, work session. It's been, it's been, it's been talked to death between the two commissions, from what I understand. We talked about in our record the other night. Yeah. That representatives from both commission have been directed to sit and meet with this thing. How many meetings do you want to have before we have a meeting decide if we're going to go ahead with a master plan? I mean, both sides have met with the representatives, but, but, and but it comes back to this. We've had meetings, but I've, I mean, what was the outcome of any The outcome is that we've that we, that we that want to do we've this. Had, the outcome, no, the outcome is that we have a master plan developed for the cemetery in Clutch Park, and they're asking whether to go forward with so it. So the outcome is is, is this? Yes. Is yes. All right. That there's shared interest in both sides is is what I'm saying. There's to move forward in some fashion and they're stuck without without direction here from what I'm gathering yes I, I believe we need some outside source to direct us in the future development of both the cemetery and the and the Kletcher Park I mean once it's determined how much space we have you know we have applied for DNR grants and we know that that would be an eligible project but we can't move forward I feel with anything at Kletcher Park until it's decided are we expanding the cemetery is it going to encroach on the park how much park is left and what was usable space out at the park so is, is the recreation portion of it isn't as complicated in my opinion as the cemetery is I so guess is, they is, gain is, more from is, this. is part of this going to be public meetings um, um, you know so the, the the neighborhood people can can talk the cemetery you know the people that go down and care for their graves I mean are is it going to be a public type forum or 
I think it would be good to get neighborhood input yeah. and mm -hmm. community input as part of the process, yes. I didn't see that in the scope of their... What's that? I didn't see that in the role of scope of their work unless I overlooked it. Well, there is a design charrette that they have yeah, in there right. that could be public or right. involve um, both commissions. How many meetings are in within these three months? <laughs> I mean, what's, I guess what I'm asking is, what are we paying? Or what are we getting for six thousand dollars? Well, I can read for each bullet point. Yeah, there's. Yeah. I believe so it looks like there'd be a minimum of three meetings. And each additional meeting will be $600? Mm -hmm. A lot of the work will be done by administration, myself and the city clerk, Correct. to make we sure that they have all the available information that we have on file. The work does not include any survey, engineering, or grant applications. So. I don't have a problem with grant applications, but how do you, without surveying, without engineering, how do you, how do you take a look at the current cemetery and, and the usefulness of it without that information? Just, just, just a question. I have an answer regarding the survey. Um, Jennifer McDonald, the chairman of the cemetery board, trustees, had notified me that there has been a survey conducted of the area and the land use. I believe it was within the last five years, so we do have that on file already to <coughs> reference. So we wouldn't have to have another survey completed. I mean, I guess when I hear survey, I, I'm, I'm thinking that, that how do you, how do you replot something that you don't really know what's usable, what's not, right? Unless you... That, I think that's where they've gleaned from the I'm survey talking. is what is usable, what oh, isn't okay. usable. I think exactly. that's I guess stuff that's So we already something. know that. Yes, there's some property that backs up to neighborhood yards and that has already been surveyed um, also the land across the street I believe where DPW warehouse is mm -hmm. so yes the survey is completed and available I think that if you look at what the the development of the master plan includes on the last page when it the master plan to evaluate expansion improvements to Hillside Cemetery and redevelopment of Clutcha Park to serve as a neighborhood park Direction to be provided by city recreation director, city clerk, and resident commissions. So to answer your question, will the, will the public be included in these things? Just by that definition, I would, I would tend to think that they would be. And I would encourage that we do have an open session. If the direction is, is that we're going to expand east on with the cemetery and then try to carve out park space. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I've talked to a few of them that would like to see a buffer, that would like to see different things, whether it's by shrubbery or hedgerows or things like that. But until we approve a go-forward plan, we just sit here and talk like we talked for about roads for years. So I would make a motion to approve the master plan process. I'll second it. All right, the motion has been made and supported. Is there any questions, yeah, comments? I got, one, I got one question. The $6,000, what funds is that coming out of? To just uh, 80, mm -hmm. 80 for cemetery, 20 out of recreation. It's an 80, 20. Right? Yeah. Yes. So out of recreation, it would most likely come out of our contractual services line item budget. I'm not, sh I'm not as familiar with the cemetery budget. Right. I don't have an answer to which line item, but I know that the funds are available because I asked before the meeting started. But I can get that information for you. I mean, I'll just, just to throw in my, 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 my two more cents. I mean, I'm very in favor of our commissions and, and, the, and the time that they put in and I have a hard time ever voting against and I'm not going to vote against this but I, I personally think that that the six thousand dollars could be used in a much better direction and if 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 there hasn't been any direction that's come out of these meetings then I, I'd have to say that the, that would be the meeting's fault and, uh, well, Tom, there hasn't there hasn't been any direction come from council. It, this is, this was brought up to council um, to almost two years ago. Mm, well, I believe the same direction and was was there wasn't talking it, it was about turned tonight. wasn't even discussed. It wasn't even voted on. Oh. And and these commissions keep meeting and keep bringing things back and, and put it in front of council, and we haven't taken any action. <coughs> on it. And I mean, I would hence to say that that happens a lot. Anybody else? Unless it gets does pushed. The, uh, does the county offer any services if they can help with us? versus going, because uh, I know they have a 
plan yeah, department. Plan, yeah. and, I mean, there, there's nothing. That, I mean, did anybody even check with the county to see if they could assist us with this project? Or there's okay. nothing that I'm familiar with, but I'd be happy to look into it if you'd like. Well, what, if we were to have a work session with council and both uh, groups, we all came to the same conclusion. This is their direction we should go. What does one more meeting make a difference? We it's been tabled for two years. There's been no discussion. Mm -hmm. There's been some good questions asked. Um, I like the idea of the buffer too. But you know what, what best services the use of the property? We've got to maintain a park. There's nothing down at that end of town. Mm -hmm. we, we all said that when the new uh, uh, legacy field was built that we were going to maintain a park. But I. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I have mixed emotions. I, I thought the $6,000 was a little high, but if the other bidder was twice the money, right. you know, I, but I'd maybe like to see the other proposal. I'd like to check with the, co the county just to make sure that they don't offer service and maybe we can get it cheaper or for free. Anybody else? All right, the motion's on the floor. Call the roll, please. McCartney? Yes. Foley? Are we voting for the six grand or are we voting for to the six grand? The motion is made here. for the acceptance of this proposal. Uh, I'm going to vote yes. Kinspotter? No. Kleeman? Yes. Kaffa? No. Laporte? No. Cedar? Yes. Motion carries. All right, right. thank you. Thank you, Therese. Thank you. And then we'll go to see Metro Act Permit Application Fiber Technologies Network. You have before you a memo from uh, Attorney Downey regarding this request by uh, Fiber Technologies. And with a couple of questions that Mr. Downey still has, to uh, clear up with this company, uh, the recommendation is by the city attorney is th to make the motion to deny without prejudice. Uh, so if uh, I would move to deny the I'll approve the request. All right, the motion is made and supported, made by Member McCartney and supported by Member Kinsfighter. Any questions? Uh, let's call the roll, please. Oli? Yes. Kinsfighter? Yes. Kleeman? Yes. Kaffa? Yes. Report? Yes. McCartney? Yes. Cedar? Yes. Carrie Drana. All right, thank you. Claims and accounts September 25th and October 2nd, 2015. Hearing no questions, Your Honor, I make a motion to approve as presented. Support. Support. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Number 10 is public comment. Anybody have anything out in the audience tonight? I just have an announcement, um, a notification to the public that we are going to be applying herbicide to, uh, to control Phragmites at Gregg Park. And we have all the permits required. And the herbicide will be applied between the dates of October 3rd and October 17th. So it should only take one day to apply, but those are, it will fall within those dates. And we do have it posted here at City Hall, and there is um, a contact um, information if anybody wants any further information on the herbicides that we are applying. But the Phragmites is an invasive species, and it has really taken over our park. So it is important to have it removed just for um, balance there at the park. And it's going to be sprayed along the parking lot. So the entrance to City Hall all along the parking lot and around the back um, to try to control that. So again, um, the, when the herbicide is applied, they will put notices in the ground. Um, and basically, we have been told that they recommend that you avoid the area until the herbicide is dried. So it should only be a short, hopefully with the weather, it would only be a short time that um, they recommend to avoid the area. Who's applying the trees above? It is um, Wildlife and Wetland Solutions. Um, Ernie Kafkis, mm -hmm. oh, okay. is, that's his company. And um, When they do it? The permit date is October 3rd um, through October 17th. So it could be during any of that time. But again, it would just be one day normally for them to apply that. 
Thank you. Okay, yep. thanks. Anybody else? Let's go to number 11. I do have a couple of things. Number one, I want to read this letter. Uh, Dear Mayor Cedar, my granddaughter had the pleasure of attending the Recreation Department's YAP program this summer. The activities were well planned out and fun for all ages. Staff members kept the families well informed and were very engaged with the kids. The opportunity for other family members to participate in some of the events and trips was a very nice touch. Keep the cost, keeping the cost of the program low was certainly a plus for many families as well. Therese Hawkins and her employees did an awesome job and should be committed for making a difference for the children this summer. It's from resident Joanne Westrick and I think you know Tim we can give kudos to our different departments we should do that I also want to mention that on Sunday October 11th at 2 p.m. rain or shine Hillside Cemetery do Hillside Cemetery is having their 16th annual cemetery walk that's October 11th and also I would also mention that on Thursday October 15th and Friday October 16th the St. Clair Fire Department 1874 to present Join Mary Boda as she recounts the department, the equipment, and the fires in St. Clair's past. We just, just happen to have Ms. Boda here. Do you want to add anything to that? Just make sure you come. <laughs> and somebody might have corrections. I might not say the right thing. Might have All right. If that was picked up by TV, Ms. Boda just says make sure you come. Right. Thursday, October 15th, and Friday, October 16th at the St. Clair Historical Museum. Uh, anybody else have anything? Um, homecoming parade Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep. The St. Clair High School homecoming parade is this Wednesday at six o'clock. Where's that going? Um, normal route, Vine Street down M29, ending with a rally at the Plaza Park parking lot. In the parking lot? Well, I guess the mall parking lot. Or is it in Plaza Park? Anybody? It's in the courtyard? I thought I, I think heard that's that. what I heard. There it is. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hearing nothing out, Chair and I make a motion to adjourn. Support. All right. Aye. In favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you everyone. Have a safe night.